Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Razr from 2022 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now this process removes screen locks so if you have one set that you just don't know for some unknown reason uh, the device uh, well this process will allow you to remove it. Now this will also probably uh, make your device FRP locked so just to explain this, if you are logged into Google account in your phone, then when performing this, uh, throughout the setup process, you will need to verify either the previously used screen lock, and assuming you don't know that, that only leaves you with verifying the previously logged in Google account. Now, assuming you don't know either of those for some reason, I will also make a video on how you can just straight up bypass this, get rid of it completely without verifying anything. So if you're interested in this video, it will be probably somewhere and suggested. If not, you can also search for it. Anyway, I'm jumping straight to this one. So let's lock the device so I'm on the lock screen and I'll, I'm gonna progress from here as though I wouldn't know a pattern. Uh, I don't actually have one set, but it changes literally nothing. So when you're on your home screen, just simply hold power key, select power off. And once the phone turns off, hold power and volume down at the same time. This will then boot us into boot mode. There we go. So in here you want to use volume keys to navigate to the visible options right here. And we're looking for recovery mode. There we go. Confirm it with power key. Give it a second and you should see Android with no command. There we go. So when you see this page, hold power key and press volume up once. And this will then take us to recovery mode. Now from here, again using volume keys, you want to scroll down and select wipe data, factory reset, confirm mode with power key. Select factory data reset again. Confirm it. It's gonna give you a formatting data message at the bottom and then data wipe complete or successfully, something like that. Any moment now. There we go. That took way longer than I would have expected, but once it's finished, as you can see data wipe complete. Reboot system now should be selected by default, so press power key to confirm it. This will obviously reboot the device and continue the process of resetting the device in the background. So it might take the device a little bit longer than it would normally do to boot back up, but once this is completed, we should be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. Oh, it looks like it's already finished. So anyway, from here you can set up your device however you want. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.